What's proper etiquette when you're using the fountain beverage machine in a gas station? That uh, Think about that for a second. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. You can. You go right ahead. I will never tell you not to speak. I mean, whoever gets there first uses it. Okay. What, what, what are you asking? I just want to know what everybody's opinion is first, and then I will chime in. Opi- oh. But opinion on what? I mean, what's are the you... proper etiquette when you're using the fountain machine in a gas station? Right, but what's the what is the at at issue here? What's I don't understand. Scene? If I'm using, if I'm using the gas station fountain, what is the, any sort of problem that could come up during that? What I got? Do I got to do my ice and soda in a certain order? I mean, what are we? You guys are both asking good questions. We'll come back and I'll tell you the situation. You tell me if they if if I was being out of line or if somebody else violated Are gas. you the whole of the ass? Is I could be. It's, it, that's entirely possible. <laughs> this conversation stems from I was at the Speedway in uh, on Cemetery Road yesterday. And we've already started getting discussions about this. What's etiquette at the gas station fountain machine? Here's why I asked this question. I think it's a little different depending on where you are. Because if you ever go into a Sheets, every Sheets that I've been into, the fountain machine... Is kind of on that wall, and then immediately behind you, there is a rack of candy or like donuts or whatever. Right, yeah, yeah. So you don't have enough room necessarily to line up straight back. You have to kind of line up side. You know what I mean? Right. Speedway, a little different. The way the fountain machine's set up, there's like an aisle there. So there's a line that you can kind of line up in. So the guy in front of me proceeds to fill his giant big gulp up and then drink half of it while he's blocking the fountain machine. <laughs> yeah, what? that's not... You shouldn't do that. So okay. that he could then fill more up? Yeah, uh, which okay. I get it. You want to get the most out of it. I understand that you, you know, you're you you're getting your Mountain Dew fix on. That doesn't bother me. But I kind of feel like you should have stepped aside. Yeah. Okay, so then it's my turn to come up the machine. Now, when I go to the soda machine, I fill my cup and then I try to get out of the way. But as I'm filling my cup, like, because they have it split into two things. So, like, Mountain Dew and a bunch of beverages is on one fountain. The ice is in the middle, and then there's others on the other side. It's like 10 total to things. Yeah, something like that. So, I'm on the um, Diet Pepsi Coke Zero side. Okay. And then they're on the uh, Mountain Dew side. So, as I'm filling my cup, and I'm, like, getting my ice, and I'm getting my... The next dude comes barging in and throws his cup underneath the other fountain and starts filling in. In my head, I'm going, you can't wait 35 seconds for me to fill my cup and get out of the way? <laughs> like, you know, and maybe I shouldn't be annoyed, but I feel like that's... you. Was you give there some room? I mean, I don't know. Not exactly. It's not like the soda machine is like right. six feet long. Were your cups touching? No. But can't I mean, we're, we're cannot damn, have that. No, but we're. I mean, he's got to put his arm in, so we're not shoulder. No, nothing. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. It's an invasion of your sort of personal yes. space. There, I feel like you should wait till the next person's done before yes. you barge right in and start filling up your drink. I wouldn't do that. Okay, so that's where I'm. That's where my question lies. Is there an etiquette at the gas station fountain machine that I don't know about? Is that's that a- okay? Because I feel like give somebody wait thirty seconds. You know what I mean. Let them do what they got to do and get out of the way. But don't drink half your cup while you've got a line that's six deep waiting to get to the machine. Get back in line and refill it before you go up and pay. <laughs> yeah, Harrison texted and said you should know what you want or know what your selection will be, you know, when when you get up there. Um, he said, uh, oh, no, I lost it. <sighs> Well, listen, I feel like oh. I had a similar situation at uh, the self-checkout at the grocery store at Kroger when it, I yes. used the belt, which I hate that self-checkout. I don't. I like the just the big station. But but I threw all my groceries down the belt. They still needed to be bagged. I paid, went down to bag. But the person behind me started throwing their stuff yeah. down the belt. I'm like, yeah, that's, and I no. had a confrontation. I'm like, you can't wait. 30 seconds for me to just throw yes. these things in a bag and get out of your way. That's, and she yeah. told me I was being rude. I'm like, ah, okay. So I just don't, people don't want to wait. They want what they want right now. I do eye contact that. You're right, the self-checkout. I hate uh, when people crowd you at the self-checkout. I'm dude. like, dude, step back three feet. Let me check out my groceries. I'll make eye contact. Like, I say that with my eyes, but yeah. I'm like. No way. Are your groceries should be coming down that belt while mine are still on there. Right. Waiting to be bagged. No, that's insane. You're mixing your stuff with mine. But anyway, I got back to Harrison, and he specifically said that uh, if you are not up there yet and somebody else is already there, be courteous and wait until they are done. And that was before you even told your story. He texted that in. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. you're right. 
I, I just, think, according to Harrison, anyway. <laughs> I just think people don't want to wait. It's like, I have a need, and I'm going to fulfill that need no matter what every, anybody else is doing. I'm doing it right now, and I don't care. So there are a lot of people who just are discourteous. Uh, Kevin says, I think gas station fountains should follow the urinal rule. As long as you aren't next to someone else, then it's fine. Jeremy said, you're talking about a very <laughs> foreign concept in the world today. Being aware and considerate of others just doesn't exist anymore. Okay. And J.D. Marie said, I'm right. Mark that down. I'm not the whole of the ass today where J.D. Marie is concerned. Thank you, J.D. Marie. Uh, she, I, asked, she had a couple of things specifically. I mean, she, like you asked for etiquette. She said, don't put your mouth up to it. <laughs> <laughs> no wheezing the juice. Uh, she also said, uh, no washing your hands in the carbonated soda water. Oh, gross. Who does that? I saw Nani said, go get a bottle. The fountains are gross. And they are. But th- there are times when, like. I just crave a fountain. There's something about it. There's a difference between the bottle taste and the fountain taste once in a while. And a lot of times at Speedway, I usually get tea. But I just needed the cafe. I needed the extra caffeine boost. How often do you think they're cleaning those fountain machines? Not out? enough. <laughs> never, Not I enough. would say. Never, yeah. maybe? I don't know that I would say never because you always have that one worker that does take pride in their work that is pretty dedicated. The problem is it's the 16 other ones that don't. <laughs> so, yeah, Noni said, uh, spend the extra money on bottled soda. Those fountains are gross. You're welcome. I'm thinking Noni has like. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! I, I, I didn't even have Just to let ask. him realize when he repeats something. Uh, by the way, uh, Stephanie agreed with you a thousand percent, Kelly, and she said, uh, "If you can't wait for me to bag my groceries, it's not really my fault if stuff ends up in my bag." That's what Ricky said, Kelly. They call that free groceries. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't order pop tarts, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs>